breaking down the top headlines on VTV News. Cushman and Wakefield statistics show that, along with Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, Da Nang and Bắc Ninh Province have also attracted a number of data center investments. So what makes those localities appealing and how much potential in terms of technology, legal foundation and talent Vietnam can deploy to boost investment into the sector? Our reporter discussed with Mr. Dang Tung Sơn, Senior Vice President and Chief Strategy Officer of CMC Corporation. More to follow. First of all, thank you so much for joining us. So in your viewpoint, what makes locations such as Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, Da Nang, uh, Bắc Ninh Province, um, a destination of choice for investors in data center? And how can Vietnam improve the attractiveness of other locations in the country to uh, attract more investors in this area? I think uh, uh, we do a lot of the uh, market survey. Uh, and like, like I showed you that the planning from now to 2030, it's around 500 megawatt capacity data center and already counting for 62 percent that will be concentrated in Ho Chi Minh City. Of course, that is the largest economy and also like a techno technology hub, innovation hub, and very important that the key of the um, talent base and digital ecosystem. Uh, they can offer very su sustainable and stable power supply and very solid infrastructure. It's very close to the uh, uh, how say, uh, submarine cable, cable landing station, and cross-border with uh, our neighborhood country. Ho Chi Minh City is positioning itself as a digital hub and uh, of Southeast Asia. And they're also working very closely with the partner, the partner, for example, World Economic Forum, the C4IR Vietnam, to make Ho Chi Minh City to become the first of Vietnam AI city. How is the global shift towards AI, IoT, 5G, blockchain, new cloud computing models, fueling Vietnam's data center market growth, as well as uh, your company's facility development. Vietnam is a very grow fastest uh, digital economy, particularly, you know, with the recent uh, uh, resolution 57 from the, uh, uh, from, from, from the Communist Party and the government, that will be putting more and more data generation. And the second thing, of course, like you said, is the cloud adoption, uh, not only in enterprise, but also in public sector. And the third one, of course, is accounting to the rise of AI development and deployment. And the fourth was also very important, that's increasingly of the regulatory uh, adoption, uh, including like, how say, data sovereignty, cybersecurity, and so-called the national digital infrastructure uh, plan. We see the trend you mentioned, you see in the factor boosting the data center. So how have um, Vietnam's national energy strategy, along with network infrastructure and legal validation, as we know, the law on telecommunications and the law on data, um, helps uh, you know, uh, contribute to the thrive of uh, data center market in Vietnam and also your company's expansion plan? The EVA national power master plan so called like master number eight. One of the very clearly talking about the uh, how say green and renewable uh, sustainable uh, uh, power source. So that is a very critical demand for all the tech giants. The government also is using the master plan for, for Vietnam to be way more submarine cable from now to uh, 2030. So we double the number of submarine cable and also uh, reduce the latency. Uh, having more like uh, 5G network, everything last mile. That also helping us to build more so-called like high-density data center. The revive law of telecommunication, the personal data protection. That we're giving very clear, clear definition, very important clear definition. Uh, framework, a uh, compliant framework, uh, particular like, uh, how say, uh, uh, cross-border data, uh, digital trust. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today. So thank you for the discussion. Thank you.